Hi everyone, welcome to Zainert's demo on Chandigarh State Quota, how to view the closing ranks of Chandigarh State Quota. Uh, quota wise eligibility is what we will be looking at uh, and also the reservation categories that you need to select when you go into Chandigarh State Counseling. Basic rules of counseling of Chandigarh, very difficult because last year Chandigarh was delayed so much because of the Supreme Court domicile case and finally there were a lot of new changes. We are expecting the prospectors to, imp uh, uh, prospectors to have the new ch changes uh, implemented this year. Uh, hopefully yes without any confusion but then the changes are huge and you, you if you have not gone through our session on the uh, supreme court case on this please go through the same we look at chandigarh state quota chandigarh has uh, possibly around uh, 76 or 80 seats uh, in uh, the ut pool uh, other than the ew seats available 38 would be split into institutional preference and another 38 will be under the ut chandigarh pool now what happened last year is that this ut chandigarh pool was provided initially for the first two rounds for ut chandigarh Chandigarh candidates, those who are resident for a few years, those who are uh, um, uh, studied in Chandigarh or those pa uh, whose parents own property in Chandigarh etc. Those were eligible for these set of seats but from round 3 after the Supreme Court order this was on an all India basis. Every candidate across India was eligible for this set of seats. Now with the judgment we believe that this set of seats will be on an all India merit basis. Only 38 seats would be for institutional preference in Chandigarh. Now candidates who is eligible for this? Anybody who has passed MBBS from Chandigarh, the only medical college in Chandigarh is GMC Chandigarh. So anybody who has passed MBBS from GSM, GMC Chandigarh for the Chandigarh merit pool, uh, 38 UT Chandigarh pool seats now we said it is all India basis eligibility right from this year it should be like that so all candidates across India is eligible reservation is applicable for both but for IP seats Chandigarh's certificate is required a Chandigarh state candidate can avail those reservations uh, for UT Chandigarh pool Clearly, any state reservation certificate is fine. Uh, Chandigarh only has e had EWS and SC, uh, 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 SC reservation la last year. This year, there might be OBC reservation with the new judgment that has been implemented for MBBS. We'll have to wait and see how that is implemented for PG. Uh, reservation categories, if you go into Chandigarh, it might be a little complicated. We will show you what you'll do. You go into insights and then click on closing ranks. You will select Chandigarh, right? Here, you will have the Chandigarh PG medical allotments. Straight away, you can click on 2024 round 1, 2, and 3. Here, round 3 is not the usual round 3. It is a special round that was created, uh, that was done after 5 months of delay due to the Supreme Court case where the new rules were adopted. All the seats were split into IP and All India Merit basis. So round 3 alone you will have to view separately and round 1, 2 separately. Bit pretty difficult to correlate the trends etc. But you can at least have a fair idea of how round 1, round 2 fared for IP candidates because UT Chandigarh was a separate poll at that point in time. And you select the course that you are interested in or you leave it blank because all the course will be listed down. You select the quota, there is only one quota, Chandigarh government quota, but the categories differ. UT, which category you belong to, etc. is listed over here. Here when we say UT, EWS, UT Gen, UT SC, basically when we say this, UT, EWS, UT Gen, UT SC, this is still 2024 round 3. When we say round 3, before the round 3, you can select only till 2024 round 2 over here uh, till round 2 including round 2 is what we mean by this and next when you select uh uh, IP, it is IP category, the 38 seats plus possibly uh, uh, the uh, plus possibly some more seats which are left over in round 3. So till round 3 you can select IP under general and SC categories over here. EWS is applicable possibly because uh, additional seats were provided for EWS implementation, it is not there in IP category. This is for all candidates who are done MBBS from Chandigarh and but you need a Chandigarh certificate for this reservation. What is All India EWS and All India general? These are seats that were pulled out from UT and given in round 3. Only in round 3 you will see. So if you are from another state, like let us say I am from Karnataka, I have nothing to do with Chandigarh, but I am looking at the 38 uh, All India seats, you can select this and check on what was possible last year in Chandigarh. This will give you an idea. As of now, this is the state rank. You can move on to All India rank and have an idea. It will be only in round 3 because the Supreme Court decision was implemented in round 3. But don't go by this is what we would suggest. This was because no candidate was able to know which seats were available at what rank last year. They went ahead. Whoever was did know that there were seats available on June 6th, uh, uh, on 6th, 3rd of June 2024 basis the notification. Uh, they were able to, uh, 2025 basis the notification. They were able to get those seats. 
but the rest of them did not participate but this year there will be participation so there might be higher competition this is just a reference for you this is what you filter out for chandigarh like we said round one round two were proper rounds with 50 percentage ip and 50 percentage chandigarh city candidates uh, round three was a special stray round and that was with new rules of all india merit 50 percentage so this is as far as chandigarh is concerned round three uh, uh, round 3 ranks may vary because additional candidates were able to register. Rest of it, uh, for the round wise rules, we will also take you through once the Chandigarh prospectus is published. You don't expect any change in rule, but we will let you know. Uh, use AA ranks till state ranks are published. Use state ranks after the state ranks are published. Till then, you use your All India ranks. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you have any queries on Chandigarh, always get back to us. Thank you.